298. Volkanovski versus Topoti who goes down here at Honda Center Saturday night. And some of you may have heard today, we have an exciting announcement for the fans here at Honda Center. Starting this year, both the UFC and WWE will bring at least three events each to Honda Center over the next five years through 2028. Very excited to be here and be here several times over the next five years. John Morgan has the first question. Johnny, what do you have? Uh, Got to start with Old Man Volk, I believe. Uh, Old Man Volk, a beautiful wardrobe choice there today. Uh, I guess curious, why was it important for you? Are you kind of leaning into the doubt, into the hate to, to wear that outfit today? Ah, oh, man, just having a bit of fun with it, you know what I mean? So, you got to do it, you know? Uh, for the people as well, so. Everyone appreciated the outfit, so I wanted to do it in person. You know, most of your opponents in the past have, you know, said that they could beat you, but they offered you a lot of respect. Elia hasn't really offered you that respect. Don't now that you and compare me with his past opponents. Well, what do, you make, what do you make of it? What do you make of that energy that he's bringing, that Shut lack of respect? Fuck up, what do you everybody. make of that? Shut the fuck up. Shut up, baby. Shut up. I think this old man needs Shut to teach this young fella a lesson. What do you reckon? Hey, you see how he came dressed? You already know what's going to happen. You just came ready for the retirement. Look how you look. As an old man. Get a good spanking, that's what's gonna yeah, happen, yeah. hey. He, shut up, fuck up, you too, okay? He said he's gonna humble me. Stand up and do something, humble me. I'm here, right? Right in front of you. Do some shit. Do something. The good thing, it's you get ripped up, a very educated person. I don't wanna, I don't wanna slap you a see me in an old man outfit, outfit. now he wants to be a hard people. fella. Hey, how about that? Sit down. Hey, I Sit won't be looking like this Saturday night. Saturday night, I'm going to be lean and mean. You coming for your head. You're going to see what's going to happen on Saturday night. You're going to see what's going to happen on you. Hey. I'm going to humble you. I'm hey, going to we'll show see, you we'll levels. See, we'll I'm, I'm going to warp the floor with you. Hey, I'm going to make I'm this gonna look warp easy. The floor with you. I'm going to fuck you. Hey, I'm going to make this down. look easy. You see that belt? Yeah. That's I've the seen last it for a while now, and I'll keep seeing it. That's the last days you are enjoying that belt. Because it comes I've my seen this heart. belt for a while and I'ma keep seeing it. My ways. You I don't see too see well, but I declare I'm be myself all right. in name of God uh, as a winner on Saturday night. I'm gonna take your head off. I'll just have one last How one. How about this guy, eh? How about it? Connor McGregor wanna be, huh? How about this bloke? Just nah, one last nah, one for the Talking champ. about red panty night. He likes to wear the red panties. The 15 all it's coming. Get ready for that. Just one last one for the champ. I mean, obviously a title defense is important to you, but what is the meaning of this? Is it now to silence this guy? Is it to silence the critics who maybe are doubting you after the loss? Or is it something completely different? Ah, oh, man, obviously, go out there and show. You know, there's going to be there's going to be some doubt. He's obviously shown a lot of confidence. He thinks he's the man to do it. I'm going to show him of that he's not. Of course I'm the man. Of I'm going to show I'm you I'm the guy that's been, been on top of this man. division for so long. Yeah. He doesn't stand a chance. Oh, you come to, to, to your end, man. This is Eli your end. Eli, I did want to ask you, I mean, when you look at Volkanovski's track record, it's pretty impressive. You know, Holloway, Aldo, Yair, Ortega. What, what makes you different? Why are you the one, when he's beating everybody else I in the division, why are you the one? the evolution of this game. Um, I... I represent the evolution of this game. I, I represent the new generation of mixed martial arts. After this Saturday night, I'm going to change the whole game of mixed martial arts. I'm going to end with his war, and mine's going to start. And you all will become an instant fan, so shut the fuck up right now. Not some of you can come to Adidas and do, some, do something. Question for Henry Cejudo. Henry. Uh, curious, you're usually the loud one on stage. What do you make of this back and forth you're seeing in the main event? I like it. I love the fact that there's no attention drawn to me, so I appreciate it. Volk with the gimmick, you know, Tiforio out here. For today. I thought it was all pro maybe Spain, but apparently not. What does a win over Murad do for you at this point in your career? Do you think skill set wise he's the most difficult guy for you to fight at the moment? Henry, I said... Oh, it, uh, uh, a win over Marab, gets you back to the title picture. You know, fight either the trans Barbie or Mr. 5045 and Chito Vera. So that's what I'm expecting. 
Marab, a lot of people think that you could be fighting for the title anytime soon. Does a win over Henry guarantee you that shot? It's not going to happen. I'm going to be winner of February 17. And I'm going to make... I'm going to make Mexican people happy because Mexican people need to represent Mexican flag. I'm going to make Mexico proud, okay? I'm going to represent Mexico on February 17th. Let's go! Let's go, guys! Henry, I respect you, but it's my time, ya my tibia, Ya tibia par vu. You Henry. will see February 17th. You heard me. We ya tibia see. par vu. Let's see. Let's see. Be ready. No, no, my friend. No. No. You're going You're down. You're dead. You're dead. You're going down. You're dead. Never. Never. You never see me there. Okay? Let's go, guys. Let's go. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. Love you, guys. Thank you. All right, I've, I've got one for, uh, for Polo Costa. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so, Polo, it's, uh, it's been quite some time since we've seen you in, in, the act, in action. So, during your time off, the belt has changed hands many times. Uh, names like Hamzat Chemaev and Bo Nickel have emerged in the division. Has it been particularly hard for you to sit in the sidelines and watch all this go down? Yeah, first of all, I'd like to say this is an amazing crowd, a lot of energy from the Anaheim. A round of applause for you guys. You guys are amazing. It's a such good energy to be here again. The last time I was here was 2019 against Romero. It was a great fight, and I love to be here one more time for you guys. Yes, uh, I have lived here in Witcher, very close of here, Orange County. Somebody from Orange County right here? Yeah? I love the place. So, yes, uh, this is a, a kind of a, a long break since my last fight, but I could fix all my injuries, you know, and uh, I'm so happy. The happy, happy, happiness is that they were to translate what I'm feeling right now, and I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock this guy Saturday 17, and I'm going to run for the tire shot next. And, uh for Robert, I have a pretty similar question. So you have been active during the same time that Costa has been, been on the sidelines. How's it been for you seeing this belt that you once held change hands so many times? I, it's, just, it's just fun. There's a lot of movement in the division. There's, it's just rife with opportunity. It, mate, if you're in the right place at the right time, it can change your life. And my, my last question is for John Anik. So, I mean, I think this is the appropriate venue to ask this in because we have such a, a loud crowd today. Um, made a lot of headlines by some of your criticism of the fan base on social media, but now that you're in front of people and you've got this more of this front racing role with, with the promotion, does it feel different? Are you feeling the love from the fans now? I have never been in front of a press conference crowd quite like this, I can tell you that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Question for Jeff Neal. Jeff, obviously there's been a lot of talk leading up to this fight. How do you tune out the noise and focus on the job you got to do on Saturday? Man, uh, I'm just focused on this fight, man. Uh, I don't do a lot of talking, man. You know, uh, my fight speaks for itself. Uh, I'm going to go out there, we're going to put on the show. Uh, I'm going to get this dub and I'm going to go back home. Same question. Ian Gary, obviously people have been waiting to hear from you. How are you feeling with everything? Going. Going. Every single one of you is talking about me. Every single one of you is here, is here to see me. I'm going to get my hand raised Saturday night and I'm going to silence every single one of you. I'm going to do what I do best. I'm going to show up. I'm going to show out. And I'm going to get my hand raised in spectacular fashion. That's it. That's my only job. Question for both of you guys. Will you, after everything that's been said, will you shake hands after the fight? I'll shake hands with any man that's willing to stand there in an octagon with me. That's simple as. Maybe. Jeff, I'll shake your hand if you're willing to shake mine. What? 
I'll shake your hand if you were willing to shake mine. I got you, bro. There you go. Question for Anthony Hernandez and Roman Kopilov. It's the UFC's return to Anaheim. How does it feel to open up the main card? I'm fucking stoked to be on it. The crowd's already fucking wild, so I can't wait to get in there with them. Roma, Roma, the question for you, the same as Anthony. How are you happy that you will start the first fight in this card? Ребят, добрый вечер. Я очень рад такой возможности. Мы покажем отличный бой. Будет жарко. Hey guys, hey everybody. I'm really happy to be here. This is a great opportunity and we're going to start with a great fight for you. It's going to be a very exciting start for the card. Question for Volk. You have the fan support. How does it feel to be able to perform in front of the Anaheim crowd? It means everyone, everyone knows I love to be in there and everyone knows I love putting on a show. So I cannot wait to do that Saturday night. Use the room for a treat. One last one from me. Uh, pregunta para Ilya Topuria. Ilya, ¿cuáles van a ser las claves para que el matador se vuelva campeón? Hey, Ilya, what are the keys for the matador to be a champion? He has to show up on Saturday night and squash him. First question for Alex. If you win this fight against Ilya, you are going to be the greatest of all time in the featherweight division. So what's next for Alex? So are you going after the lightweight? Wait, wait, so much energy in here. This old man can't keep up. What were you saying, sorry, brother? After, the, after this fight, you are, are you planning to move in after the lightweight? Uh, yeah, look, I wanna, that's why I want to be active. I want to clear guy in featherweight. Uh, my, my story at lightweight's not over. I still want that double champ status, so. Uh, like I said, this, this old dog still got plenty of time in him, and uh, that's what I want as well. Next question for Ilya. When Conor McGregor fought in uh, for the Vidriway Championship against the Jose Aldo, he was the same records, records with you. Same records with you. So, what do you think about it? How competent, how confident that you'll make history again? I came here to make history, you know. On Saturday night, there's going to be only two options for me, kill or be killed, and trust me, I'm, I'm not ready, I, I, don't, I don't came this far to die, so I'm just ready to kill. Paulo, Paulo Costa, tudo bom Paulo? A uh, primeira pergunta que eu queria te fazer é, você chegou na arena, você foi um dos mais, talvez o mais ovacionado aqui pela plateia, Qual o segredo para o lutador brasileiro ser ovacionado aqui nos Estados Unidos, conquistar tantos fãs? Se você tivesse que dar uma dica para um atleta não americano para conquistar os fãs americanos, qual seria? Paulo, you were one of the people that were cheered on the most when you walked on this arena. Would you? What tips would you give? What tips would you give to a foreign athlete to conquer the public like you did? I don't know, bro. Just I, I feel the same energy in this. this crowd right here, you know, I would just want to share with them the same energy and bring exciting fight on Saturday, bring the real entertainment for everyone here, you know, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to, do, to bring the best fight ever for you guys. The main, the people main event gonna, gonna happen before the real main event. Well, mais uma, Paulo. A gente está ao vivo no wall, se puder fazer em português só essa, por favor. Paulo, você está muito confiante, você deixou claro que a sua próxima luta tem que ser pelo cinturão se você vencer o Whitaker. Por que, que está tão confiante? Existe já um acerto? Já te foi oficializado isso nos bastidores? Que a próxima luta vale o cinturão? Paulo, você parece muito really confiante que a luta depois disso, se você ganhar no sábado, você vai estar lutando por uma luta. Por que você está tão so confiante? Há algum tipo de arrangimento entre você e o UFC? Você ouviu que você vai estar indo para a luta depois disso? Não tem outro caminho, esse é o caminho. Vencendo o Inter, que é o caminho se tornou. There is no other way. The only way is after beating him is fight for the belt. This is my goal. Yeah, uh, Roasty here with uh, KO Sports. Question for uh, Old Man Volk. Old Man Volk. Um, are you, are you hitting up uh, Dana after the fight on Saturday for the uh, senior citizen bonus? For citizen's bonus? Senior citizen yeah, bonus. Yeah, 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 we could get that. Uh, I might have to hit him up about, uh, like I said, I plan on doing work this weekend and 
I don't know if they've found something for UFC 300. Maybe I can uh, go and save the show there as well. I ain't lying about that. Like I said, this uh, old man's got a lot of dog left in him. So uh, for the UFC let's 300, go. you're gonna still being in the hospital, be recovering. Trust me. Hey, don't interrupt Abuelo when he's talking. Abuelo is talking. Couple more days. Couple more days. Couple more days. <laughs> Y Lea, siempre te toca pelear con el público en contra. Pase lo que pase en el combate, ¿tienes pensado hablar con Dana White para que tu siguiente pelea sea en España y sea delante de toda tu afición? Por Ilya, supuesto que sí. Estoy siempre against... acostumbrado a que vayan en contra de mí, pero... Ilya, you're te lo aseguro fighting... que después de este combate todo el mundo estará de mi parte y pelearé por primera vez en frente de toda mi gente en España. Eso sucederá sin lugar a duda. Ilya, you're always used to fighting against the crowd on the road. Would it be nice to talk to Dana and try to get the next fight to be in Spain? And yes, I've always fought against the crowd. I've always fought on the road. It'll be nice. Next time, all the crowd is going to be on my side and I'll fight that in Spain. Ilya, y dile a toda la afición que te está viendo desde España qué va a ocurrir en este combate. ¿Cuál es tu pronóstico? Ilya, for everybody that's watching it in Spain, everybody that's watching around the world, what's going to happen Saturday? I'm going to take his lights out in the first round. Ilya, ¿te ha sorprendido ver a Volkanovski en esta actitud? ¿Crees que está nervioso? Mira cómo vino vestido, preparado para el retiro. Se ve para lo que vino. Para el retiro. Pues es cierto, ¿verdad? <laughs> hey Alex, uh, for Volkanovski, what did Paul Costa just say to you there? It just woke me up, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, for Henry Cejudo, Henry. Character, I mean character. Henry, you've made it clear you want to go up to 145 in the future. Which fighter do you want to see holding that belt between Ilya Tapuria and Volkanovski? That's, uh, that's between them. That's between them, man. Like, I, I, just, I, I personally just want to fight. I, I, I got to get through... Uh, this, uh, this hair transplant, and once I get through him, obviously, like I said, fight for the belt, and then, yeah, of course, 145 is still, still the mission. And just last one for you, old man Volk. Uh, we've seen Ilya walking around with a belt this week for photos. You touched your belt the last time you did a face-off. What does it mean to you if you're going to get that belt wrapped around you on fight night? That's what I've, all, I've always said. You want to earn your shit, not shit given to you. He took advantage of taking a photo with the belt, and then... Like I said, you may as well take advantage of it now. You're never going to see it again. Not until I teach you a lesson. Maybe one day you could be a great champion. I'm going to kick your ass first. You'll learn your lesson. Maybe you can bounce back after that. But till then, get your hands off my belt. Who's got the next question? That's it. All right, Anaheim, California. Thank y'all for being here. Don't forget tomorrow, we got another press conference here for UFC 300, 4 p.m. local time, and then the ceremony away, and we're gonna clear the stage and square off these athletes. Thank y'all for the energy, stay right here.